Hi guys, Todd here. Good news. UPS sucks. <laughs> I'm sitting here uh, five o'clock at night, all fed up. I ordered a Poliac from MM Vapors, and I ordered this on Friday. Sure, it was Friday I ordered it. Maybe it was Thursday night. I think it was Thursday night actually, very late Thursday night because. Yeah, because I didn't mean to order it, I just did. Uh, and I ordered it, and next thing I knew, it was, I got a notification from UPS. It was being shipped. Expected delivery date was today on the 11th. So, you know, that is quick. Uh, door just went just now. It's here. Um, now, I was just going to open it up, put it all together, and uh, go through the whole, see what it's like, vaping it have a quick look but then I saw how it had come shipped and I thought if anybody's interested in buying this they really have to see this because this is pretty damn smart literally I have not I've taken it out the box the shipping wrapping and I've not gone any further so I'm just going to shift the camera yes this is right this is the Poldiac you have to build it yourself. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, this is how it actually came. That is so smart. Uh, now, this is not going to get damaged in shipping. Uh, now, this is the, the built-to-order one, the BTO. Um, and this is so cool. Uh, okay, I know, I know it's just bits of wood. Uh, don't get me wrong. But... Uh, Nice, very nice way of, uh, you know, protecting your gear when you're ship when they're shipping it to you. Uh, so we have some bags here. Let's have a look and see what's in the bags. I can't even remember what I actually ordered now. How sad's that? Oh my god! Oh my, that is one. Sexy fucking bit of kit. Shit. That is nice. That is bloody nice. Uh, what did I get in the other bag? Hopefully this is the other pants. Uh, or tubes or whatever they're called. And it is indeed. There's my other panties. Uh, May 18650. The big one here. And here we have... The 18500 and the 18350. Now I I got this on the last day uh, that you know there was the they were doing the complete set for 160 euros where you got the the other tubes and pants uh, for the 160 euros I, I, or was it 170 euros I can't remember now uh, I'll come back to that so. I just have to say off the bat that this is just bloody stunning. Right, I'm going to shift the camera back. Now I'm just moving those tubes out of the way, uh, or pants, or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, right. I swear, I, I may swear a wee bit here, and I apologise. Uh, so if you've got any kids about or whatnot that can hear this, put fingers in their ears. This is fucking nice. This is nice. Uh, this is really nice. Um, now I went for the. Just get a little bit of focus. Uh, Satin, uh, satin tubes and satin top with plain, no cutouts. Uh, you can get cutouts in these. So the shirt, they call it, along the top here. Uh, but I just went for plain, and I went for a polished section here, polished at the bottom and polished at the top. Um, 
and that's in 18.350 mode. And there you have the MM logo on the back. Here we go. Sorry, I'm just a little bit stunned by this thing. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be as nice as it is. Um, uh, I've seen the photos and I've seen the reviews of R, uh, Rick or RMR or uh, reviews. He did a, I'll, I'll actually link it. Uh, he did an in-depth review in breaking this down and changing the button position from top to bottom. Uh, fantastic video. Uh, it really covers this in a lot of detail. And actually, because of that, I'm not going to go into this in a huge amount of detail because I think that the video that the lad did is outstanding and uh, it covers it in better detail than I ever could. Uh, so, the MM Vapors on the back, will on the back. Now, uh, I might get shot for this, but uh, I remember when I did a review for the Mini Did when it first came out. Uh, I had a Mini Did as soon as it came out, and the Mini Did was the first one to have the MM logo on the back. Uh, personally, my opinion, it's the only thing aesthetically that I don't like about the mod. First reaction, it's the only thing I don't like. Uh, I know they've every right to put their brand on it, and it, and it does look good, uh, but it's just not my cup of tea. Um, Right, let's get a battery in this bad boy. So it's uh, unscrew the bottom here. And mine's is number 388. And we'll go in for a closer look and we can see how we get on. That's an IMR 18350 I'm popping in there. Threading's lovely. I had read about people saying that you know there was a, some sharp edges on the cutouts. Uh, uh, no issue there at all with mine. Uh, what we put on it, right, just to give you a, a look to see what it looks like with uh, various atties on it. Bloody hell, this is going to be sweet. Uh, No, this is not going to be sweet. Uh, right, we may have a problem here. Try my bliss. My Fagatti does not want to screw on. Threading's a bit. And, uh, it's a bit tight and binding in the 510 connector. Uh, there it is with a polished bliss on it. Put focus there for you folks. That's bloody loud. That is stunning. That really is nice. Uh, not firing, I'm obviously going to have to adjust something here. Right, I'm back. I've calmed down now. <laughs> Terrible thing when you get excited about a, a mod. Uh, I see a lot of mods and I see a lot of atties, but this is uh, out of the box opening it up. That was pretty, ex pretty exciting for me opening it up. Uh, anyway, there it is with a Fugatti on top, and that is stunning. Well, I think it's stunning. Uh, Ah, over the moon with it. Uh, vape wise, yeah. 
Yeah. It's a wee bit of play in the button. You know, you've got a, like a halfway, but it's like a uh, camera. You know, when you push the camera down, button down so far, it's like got an autofocus. Push it right down and it'll go off. This has got the same kind of thing. Push it down halfway and it focuses it. No, it doesn't focus. Uh, nothing happens until you push it right down. And that's due to the, the way the locking mechanism works for the, the button here. But we'll come back to that when I get a close-up shot. Um, no, really like that. It's very pretty. Um, right, enough of the havering and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to change the camera back again and we'll get in for a, a good look at uh, at this and show you what uh, what it's all about. So, here we go. How's that for a beautiful lineup? Oh. Right, this is the 69 by Atmon McSani. Uh, this is a telescopic mod, remember, telescopic, so all of, you know, you don't get separate tubes with it. Um, there's the Poldiac in 18350 mode. So this is 18350 mode right now. Uh, there's the Roller in 18350 mode, just a tad smaller. And this is the Dingo, which is an 18350 mod. Just to give you an indication of the sizes there. Uh, they're all 22 mil, uh, so we'll take them out of the way just now because this is about the Poldiac, and we'll uh, we'll go in for a bit of a closer look. Right, first things first. Here's your 510. Now this you can see there's still some polish residue on this, those black bits. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, center pin in there is adjustable and uh, I was having an issue screwing my atomizers in there at first but uh, give it a wee clean out with a cotton bud inside the threads there and everything's fine now no problems at all you can raise and lower the height of this and it is reverse threaded so remember that it's reverse threaded um, lovely detailing along the top here these cutouts I think they're lovely. They're real, really nice. Um, there's your button with the pole diac written on it, and you know to lock it, you can actually if you push the button in halfway, you can turn the tube at the top and lock it. And if I just keep turning it. I can unlock it. Now I have, see now I've just pressed that. I don't know if you can see it's not fully released. If, just need to give it a wee, if this is not 100% bang on in position, then the button, see there it goes again, it's not releasing properly it's and there we go again that might be a bit of a pain in the back side to be perfectly honest so that's it perfectly located just now uh, uh, there we go once again it's not releasing properly and it's back again. That could be a bit of a pain. Uh, I'll have to see how I get on with that. Uh, then again, we've got the cutouts here. Moving down, we then have the, you've got the battery vents. See some of the cutouts are actually cut right out. That's for your battery to vent. So, take the bottom cap off. See your vents all cut out there. Take my battery out. And then I'm going to unscrew this here. And there you have your 
your tube section, your battery tube section, which is in two parts. And I'm not saying pants anymore because that's doing my head in. Uh, pants are something I put on before my trousers are in the morning. Uh, well, unless you're American and pants are trousers, uh, whatever. Um, beautiful finish. I mean, the finishing's stunning. It's really nice. I like this brushed look that I, I got on this one compared to the, the shiny. Uh, really nice. And you can actually use it without the this section. Yeah, you can just screw that on if you wanted to. And use it like that. I prefer it with. So we'll take that out of the way. And just to remind you, uh, you know, I got the, the full set, so I have the 18650 and the 18500 as well. Now that leaves us with the top section. And you can see at the bottom here, you actually have another screw here. So if you've got, you know, batteries that are slightly shorter or slightly longer, you can adjust this so you can take the rattle out of your batteries, which is very good. And we'll take the 510 off the top. There we go. And this is what it looks like inside. A wee bit of polishing residue in there just now, but I'm not entirely bothered about that, and uh, yeah. Now I am. Um, I'm not taking the switch to bits, uh, and I don't want to do that in this video. Uh, if there's a demand of people ask for me to do it, I'll do it. But uh, the video that I'll link to in the description of this video uh, will give you a full technical breakdown on how to, you know, take this to bits and move it about. Um, but right now, this is just a first impressions out the box. Okay, right, just to confirm here, this cost me 160 euros, uh, 12 euros delivery, 172 euros in total, which was 154.51 pounds. Uh, all right, the shipping was outstanding. Uh, uh, I can't believe how quickly this got here. That is really impressive. Um, so 10 out of 10 for that. Um, right. Oh, let's try the K-Fun on it. See what it looks like with the K-Fun. Focus here. I can. Like that. Look better with the uh, standard 510 drip tip, I think. Um, nice oh, very nice right first off I'm so sorry about the start of this video me gibbering like a kid in a toy store at Christmas time ah um, my first impressions uh, really like it really like it I think it's a beautiful mod uh, the MM vapor MM logo I'm not a fan of uh, the two-tone built-to-order one. I mean, there's you got your standard Poldiac and you got your built-to-order one. The built-to-order one, the BTO, you could specify what finish you wanted for each individual section, so you could customize it. Um, I believe you can also get brass sections as well now. 
Yeah, so I may go down that route, I don't know. Um, I have to say that it is bloody expensive. Uh, £150 delivered, that's, uh, that's serious hybrid money in my book. And um, I don't know. I think it's really nice. I do. I think it's lovely. I think it's really lovely. But it's very expensive, uh, especially compared to some of the other uh, mods that uh, well, you saw in, earlier on. Uh, because things like the Roller and the 69 are are just as good look well in, in my opinion are just as good in their own you know areas uh, the other thing I haven't covered is you can actually change the position of this button uh, you do get the uh, spare parts you get the, a couple of spare springs and an o-ring there and you get a little doodah doofery uh, which I'm not going to go into but because I uh, find it well I watched that review that I'm going to link to and the lad shows you exactly how to change the button position from top to bottom um, and I have to say that it's a faff and a half uh, just watching the video I was like oh, you have to do what? Uh, and when you do do it the Poldiac logo that's on the button is then upside down uh, which is a serious gaff in my mistake in my book. Uh, the the the, f the fumble that one. Um, but right. Oh no, it's the heating. I thought I could hear it firing there because the button wasn't fully raised, but it's not. The heating's going in the background. Um, right, I'm going to stop this here, uh, and basically, I know it's bloody expensive, I know I've picked a couple of holes in it, but on a whole, if you have £150 to spend on a mod, then, and you like the look of this, Right now, I would, I don't know, I really don't know, as much as I like it, I really don't know, that button getting caught on the, the skirt at the top, you know, when you push it, it's not coming back up, unless, well, I'm not entirely happy about that, I, I don't, for a £150 mod, um, I don't, nah. Uh, I like the fact that you can change the tubes to, you know, have it brass, all polished, uh, you know, you can buy extra tubes. Uh, uh, that's quite smart. Uh, it's very reminiscent of the, you know, the chameleon type thing. Um, I like the, you know, the, the engraving in the bottom. Engraving in the bottom is very nice as well. See, I'm struggling here. I keep saying I'm going to stop this, but then I'm I'm trying to defend it and uh, and justify it at the same time. Um, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop this a second. I'll be back in two seconds. Right. I've vaped. Popped the the foggy back on top of it drooled over it a wee bit and I've now come to my initial conclusion which is just the same as what I've been prattling on about for the past 10 minutes if you have a hundred and fifty pounds to spend on a mod this is a beautiful mod aesthetically it's stunning it hits hard it does hit hard as well I'll have to measure the voltage drops and whatnot on it and compare it to the other ones but it seems to hit really well. Um, I am impressed, but 
I just can't. <sighs> I'm not 150 pound impressed. I, I'm just not. At this moment in time, I'm not. Uh, I'm looking at the 69 and the roller and taking what they cost into account. And okay, they're telescopic, slightly different. It's not, you know, you've got different tube sets with it. Uh, I suppose you you know what I paid I'm getting a lot more metal for my money uh, you could say um, but and I did get to design it to the way I wanted it so there is that extra bit to take into account I suppose only you can decide at the end of the day whether or not you think this is worth it um, I can only tell you what I think of it and would I spend that much well I did spend that much money on it I paid for this myself um, As a luxury item, uh, yeah, I love it. As I sit, fawn over it, wipe it down with a cloth, it's stunning. For an everyday vaping implement, no, nah, I, I wouldn't. I'd, I'd, I'd go for one of the other ones first, every single minute of the day. Uh, this is uh, just too expensive. I'll do a follow-up and depending on the feedback, if folk want to see me take the switch to bits, uh, move it up, down to the bottom and uh, I'll do voltage drops and things like that. If you want to see that, let me know and I'll do it. Uh, and I'll, I'll do a f you know, proper full-on review on it. Uh, right now, this is just my initial out-the-box impressions. Um, please don't take offence if you already own one of these and think that I'm, you know, uh, yeah and talking rubbish um, it's just how I feel about it uh, there's no denying it's a well-built beautifully crafted mod uh, I can't take that away from it uh, I really can't but I'm going to stop that here just now um, the MM Vapor site seems to be down at this moment in time they must be updating it uh, but one thing to make clear I don't know how it's going to work when you buy the built to order one now, I think you have to specify which size you want it in. You do not get all the tubes with it. I think that's finished. Uh, so you can only choose 18350, 18500 or 18650. I got all, you know, the initial built to orders, they were giving away all the tubes. Uh, they're not doing that now. Um, so I'm away. Because uh, I've just havered the whole way through this. You have my heartfelt apologies for that. And uh, I'll hopefully come back and do this mod a bit more justice at a later date. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.